Hi dear friends and subscribers, uh, welcome to Cricket Happenings. And well, I'm going to take you to one of those sensational matches which has happened here at Chittagong today. We know the third one day international between West Indies and Bangladesh didn't have any much meaning because West Indies have already wrapped up the series. And it was for Bangladesh to actually uh, give it back to the West Indies or probably salvage something out of the series. And what they did today was something exacting sweet revenge for the 2011 World Cup uh, a total that they put up 58 all out against uh, West Indies, which West Indies won easily in the World Cup. And today, Bangladesh actually dished out the same fare to West Indies by rolling them out for just 62 runs. So West Indies were all out for 62, 61 today, in fact. And this is West Indies' uh, lowest, uh, second lowest ever uh, total in a one-day international. So West Indies were rolled out for 61. The the the, the Bangladeshi bowling. Oh, superb. Yes, they were definitely aided by the pitch. Actually, it was Bangladesh who actually won the toss and inserted West Indies in and they did the right thing because there was definitely there is some, something in the pitch for the bowlers. I mean, everything was there. Uh, there was some bounce, there was some unevenness in the pitch, there was some turn in the pitch. So everything you can call out for was there. And that's what West Indies probably couldn't really uh, cope up with the uh, bowling of the Bangladeshis and they were all out for 61 today. Uh, let's look at the bowling figures today. Shakib Hassan was the man of the match today. He came in and actually cleaned up the lower middle order by bowling five overs, no maiden, 16 runs and four wickets. And then Nasir Hussain, the right arm off spinner, uh, picked up one beautiful um, uh, wicket today. And that was Kiron Powell. The ball was actually pitched, pitched on the leg stump. Uh, it actually swerved in, took the edge and took the off stump of Powell. That was the ball of the day as far as uh, this particular match was concerned. And Kiron Powell was gone for 25 of 36 balls with four fours. Uh, before that, Danza Hayat was uh, dismissed, uh, uh, caught him rule case ball, Nazmul Hussain. And one for 16 for Nazmul Hussain, that was the wicket he took. Shafi ul Islam, 7 was 1 made and 2 for 21. He also bowled his bit. In fact, he, he came and take, took the wickets of uh, a very, very, the form batsman Marlon Samuels for 5. And Darren Bravo was sent to the pavilion, caught behind the bowling of Shafi ul Islam for a duck. Kiran Polat was uh, caught and bowled by Nasir Hussain for a duck. So these were the two wickets that... Uh, Nasir Hussain, the Radha spinner took. And after that, Shakib Al Hassan came into the picture and completely cleaned them up. Darren Sami was LBW bowled, Shakib Al Hassan for two. Da uh, Ramadin was bowled by Shakib Al Hassan for four. Uh, Braithwaite was making his debut, was LBW bowled, Shakib Al Hassan for 11 of 20 balls with one four. Andre Russell was caught and uh, caught and bowled by Shurwadi Shubo for two. And Kemar Roche was not out on not. Uh, Martin, Anthony Martin was bowled with Shakib Lassan, giving him figures of 5 overs, no maidens, 4 for 16, and West Indies were rolled out for 61. So it was an exacting sweet revenge uh, for the 58 they made in the World Cup 2011. West Indies all out for 61 in the 22nd over, 38 overs to spare, and uh, sorry, it was 28 overs to spare, and West Indies were all out. And Bangladesh, well, it was uh, very, very easy for them. They actually collected the 62 runs. Uh, for the loss of two wickets in just 20 overs. Tami Mikbal was there uh, playing a very mature knock. Uh, under the circumstances, I thought um, uh, Bangladesh um, really understood that uh, they can't uh, really make any mistakes and uh, they really took their time at the crease. Tami Mikbal, if you see his innings, he was unbeaten at the end, not around 36 of 62 deliveries with three fours. And uh, Imrul Case was gone. He was caught Polar Bowl Roche for 11. Sharir Nafiz. Uh, was clean bowled by Samuels for a duck. Other than that, there was no reward for the West Indies. Mushfiqur Rahim, the captain, was not out on 10. And the and that that's it, 62 for 2 of 20 overs. And Bangladesh actually winning this match by 8 wickets. A very comprehensive victory. Kemar Rose, 5 overs, 1 for 16. Darren Sami, 2 overs for 12. Marlon Samuels, 8 overs, 1 made and 1 for 15. And Anthony Martin, the leg spinner, 5 overs, 1 made and 1 for 14. Shakib Lassan was the man of the match. And the player of the series went to Marlon Samuels of the West Indies for his uh, tremendous form there. And um, let me tell you, Bangladesh, even though they lost this series too, but they came back hard. Even though West Indies took the two, uh, two first, the first two one-day internationals, the third one-day international, in fact, Bangladesh not only salvaged something, they made themselves proud by actually bowling out the mighty West Indies for 61 and then winning by eight wickets. So it was a very good performance from Bangladesh. They came back very strong in this one-day international series, even though Bangladesh lost the series 2-1. Now I take you down to... Abu Dhabi, uh, the Sheikh Zayed Stadium in Abu Dhabi, where today was the first day's play with the match between Sri Lanka and Pakistan. Stumps on day one, uh, Pakistan were 27 for no loss, putting up a very, very good bowling performance. The bowlers did an admirable job to actually bowl, bowl the Sri Lankans out for 197. 
Now, it was very, very surprising the Sri Lankans could make only 197. This was an absolutely uh, dead pitch. There was nothing in for the bowlers, barring a greenish tinge. But uh, basically, uh, the bowlers, not probably the credit has to go to the bowlers for the way they bowled, actually. Because there was nothing in the pitch. The, the batsmen could actually stay there and collect the runs. They could have done that, but they didn't do that. In fact, um, uh, the bowling, the credit has to go to the bowling. If you look at the bowling figures, uh, Umar Gul, 11 overs, one maiden, 2 for 37, his figures. Isos Chimo is very impressive, even though his uh, bowling figures don't reflect that. He was, uh, he was, he was, he was very, very uh, effective. In fact, he continued the same form that he showed in Zimbabwe. 15 overs, five maidens, one for 51. Mohammad Afiz, nine overs, three maidens, none for 12. Junaid Khan was the man who really did the damage. In fact, he picked up his maiden five wicket haul. 14.1 overs, three maidens, 38 runs, and five wickets. A tremendous exhibition of a very good left arm pace and swing bowling. And Saeed Ajmal, 24 overs, five maidens, two for 56. Sri Lanka made 197. Uh, they, they, in, in fact, um, it was Pakistan who won the toss and elected to field. And surprisingly, it was a surprising decision. But uh, if you if you look at it, uh, they definitely did well and actually bowled out Sri Lankans for 197. Uh, they definitely took the honours there. Tarnav Paranavitana and Thirumani, the opener started. They really, really struggled in the first hour and then also lost the wickets. In 25 overs, they could raise only 48. But after that, the first wicket to go, the breakthrough was actually given by Saeed Ajmal, who actually had Thirumani gone for 20 uh, with no boundary in that knock. Uh, Taranga Paranavitana at the stroke of lunch was dismissed by Umar Gul when he was caught by Adnan Akpal for 37 with three fours. And after that, Isa's team mark produced a very good delivery uh, Sangakra was caught behind for two. Uh, that was the third wicket. After that, uh, it was 79 for three. And then uh, Junaid Khan came in and uh, forced uh, Mahindra Jayavardhani to edge one to Mohammad Afiz in the slips for 28 uh, with just one six. And uh, Saeed Ajmal picked up the uh, captain's wicket. As Tilkan Dilshan was caught behind for 19 of 22 balls to two fours. Uh, Angel Matthews was the only one who offered any resistance there uh, by making a very good unbeaten 52 with four fours and one six. Other than that, um, uh, Prasen Najayavardhane, normally a very good uh, scorer in test matches, was cleaned up by Junaid Khan as Junaid Khan clean bowled him uh, for a duck. And Rangana Herat was LBW bowled Junaid Khan for a duck. And this was the period in which three wickets fell for no runs. If you see the score, the score was uh, 112 when Dilshan fell. After that, Mahila Jayavardhane and Prasen Najayavardhane were gone. And when Rangana Herat was dismissed, it was 114 for seven for uh, Sri Lanka. After that, uh, little, not, not, not much of a resistance. Lakmal contributed 18 uh, with uh, three boundaries. Velagarra made 11 with one boundary. Fernando uh, made one. And Junaid Khan, as I said, five wicket haul. A maiden five wickets haul. 14.1 overs, three maidens. 38 runs and five wickets. Sri Lanka all out for 197. And Pakistan at stumps have not 27 of those. In fact, there were 27 for no loss. They had no, not, not, no any, not a problem at all as far as how Muhammad Afiz and Tafik Omar, the openers, were concerned. They very, very easily negotiated and also played uh, one. In fact, Muhammad Afiz played uh, three good strokes uh, for boundaries. He was not out on 17 at stumps with three fours. Tafik Omar uh, was a bit watchful, not out on eight. And the bowling figures, well, Agadra, two overs, none for nine. Lakmal bowled three overs for eight. Rankana had a two overs only and a none for two. And Fernando, none for eight. Now, for Pakistan, well, they have everything going for them. And tomorrow morning, uh, yes, uh, we, we would have to see how uh, Pakistan openers negotiate uh, the, the, pace, the pace attack of the Sri Lankans. But uh, definitely, the honours definitely, definitely belong to Pakistan uh, for not only the bowling that they did. And after that, I mean, the bowling was the one which was the key. And, uh, you know, uh, bowling out a team on the first day for 197 uh, itself is a very good uh, thing that Pakistan have done. And they can really, really press on the initiative tomorrow if they could really, really go on and take a huge lead in this uh, particular match. As I said, the pitch not doing much. Uh, the pitch is, there's not much in the pitch at all. Uh, it's playing easy. If Pakistan can capitalize, that would be great for them. Well, let's look out for tomorrow when the second day's play starts at the Sheikh Zayed uh, Stadium in Abu Dhabi between Pakistan and Sri Lanka on day two. Until then, it's your host Ram saying goodbye from Cricket Happenings. Thank you.